Good morning, how are you doing? Today we are going to continue what, we, what we've started last week. First, I want you to open your box on page 190. Have you opened your box on page 190? Excellent. Now, we are going to start with this fantastic story. First, who can tell me what is the title of this story? Where are my animal friends? Excellent. And who writes this story? Who writes this story? William Chen. Excellent. And illustrated by Scott. How about the type of our story? The genre of our story? What is the genre of our story? Drama. Good job. Drama. Drama or a play is a story that is written to be acted out. To be acted out like a play. Okay. If you remember the farmer and the hat. Okay, now listen. And we are going to, to start now. Where are my animal friends? By William Chin. Illustrated by Scott Gustafson. Genre. A drama or play is a story that is written to be acted out. Next, you can read and then act out a play about animal friends who get ready for winter. Question of the week. What do animals do when the seasons change? Carac First, we are going now to introduce the characters. Look at this picture. How many characters do we have? One. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, we have five characters. This is the raccoon, goose, bear, and hummingbird. Also, the quail. Look. Characters: raccoon, goose, bear, hummingbird, squirrel. We have five characters: raccoon, goose, bear. Hummingbird and squirrel. We are going to listen. After that, we're gonna discuss. Hello, goose. Why are you shift? Look at the look at the picture. We have this goose. This is the goose, and this is the raccoon. This is the raccoon, and this is the goose. Where did the story happen? Where did, where where do you think? Look, these are the trees. And there's a small lake pond. Where did you think? Where do you think? Excellent. In the forest. Excellent. Shivering. This forest is chilly, raccoon. The days are shorter now. And it's getting colder every day. The raccoon is asking the goose why she's shivering. She says it's the forest is chilly. The forest is chilly. That means the forest is very cold. Is very cold. And she's cold. Then we don't have much time to find our friends. You're right, raccoon. Let's look for caterpillar. Look, winter is coming to the forest. The days are getting colder. And shorter the air is getting colder leaves are on the ground all the leaves are on the ground that means it is what it is fall. goose is gold and goose and raccoon look for their friends and now we are they are going to go to look for the caterpillar they are going to look for the caterpillar where is the caterpillar let let's see now caterpillar Look at the picture. The raccoon is on the tree and the goose is under the tree. Lives in this tree. But where are... Where did... Where do the caterpillars live? Lives in the trees. Are all the leaves. Many of them are on the ground. Where is caterpillar? Look. There is no leaves on the tree. That means it is the winter is fall. After fall, the winter is gonna come. The winter is gonna come. Look, 
Here comes the smallest bird in the forest. Hello, hummingbird. Have you seen caterpillar? Look, the goose asked the hummingbird if he saw the caterpillar. This is the hummingbird, and this is the goose, and this is the raccoon, right? The goose asked the hummingbird, have you seen the caterpillar? Let's see. Oh, yes. Caterpillar is right here. That's not caterpillar. Caterpillar is long. This thing is not long. Thing is not long. Our friend Caterpillar moves a lot. This thing does not move at all. Look, they look for the Caterpillar hummingbird. Says that Caterpillar has become a chrysalis. He will come out in the spring. Look, he said this is the Caterpillar. This is the Caterpillar. It becomes a chrysalis. Okay, and it's going to go out to come out by spring. But caterpillar is inside. But our friend caterpillar is inside this chrysalis. Then we won't see caterpillar until spring, when he'll be a butterfly. Look, this one is gonna become what the crystals it's going to become a butterfly the caterpillar is going to become a butterfly but that's going to happen when the spring is when the spring comes okay the next page please well i'm glad you will be here for the winter oh no raccoon i can't stay I must fly away to where it is warm. Hummingbird must too. Yes, we must go. Oh my, I am the saddest raccoon in the forest. Will you come back? Yes, we'll be back in the spring. Goodbye, raccoon. Goodbye, goose. Goodbye, hummingbird. I, I will see if Bear is at home. Look, here, Goose and Hummingbird say goodbye to Raccoon. They must go, they must fly away to the warmer places, to a warmer place. Before winter comes, before winter comes, and they are going to come back and spring they are going to come back by spring look we have here the word glad glad means happy glad means happy and the opposite of a glad the opposite of a glad is sad we have here saddest okay hello bear sorry we have here saddest okay Sad means upset. It is the opposite of a glad. Sad, the opposite of a glad. Okay? And the synonym of a glad is happy. Happy. The next page. Oh.